Hi, and welcome to my 50 Christmas Crafts in 50 Days series for 2019. I'm Sarah, and I'll be showing you a different Christmas craft each and every day for the next 50 days, and I hope you'll be back for all of them because we'll be having a lot of fun this year. Today, I'm making this beautiful wall hanging in the shape of an ornament using items I picked up from the Dollar Tree. If you like what you see here, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button below. If you know anyone that would like this video or my channel, please share this link because every view and every subscriber really helps enable me to keep creating videos for you. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I share all my latest projects as well as some of the things we have going on in our life. I also have a Facebook group for anyone out there who enjoys crafting and would like to share their projects with others. You can also visit my blog where I post lots of things you won't see here on my channel. You can find the links for these in the description below. What we're going to start with is one of these large Dollar Tree ornaments that have the metal cap up on top. And these are just wall plaques that you can pick up. They have several different shapes and sizes of wall plaques this year. They have a great selection. So we're going to be redoing a few of them. But we're going to start with one of these ornaments. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this metal piece from the top of the ornament here. Right, and as you can see, it comes off really nicely and easily in one piece. It's got a little bit of the paper um, still glued to the back of it. I'm just going to pull off those extra pieces. Just make sure there's none sticking around on the outside. Right, and then I'm just going to flip this over to the other side, and this is the side we're going to be using, and we're going to be replacing this metal cap up on top when we're done. The first thing that I'm going to do is paint my ornament with my Waverly chalk paint and lacquer. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, or the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. 
All right now I'm going to go and use some of my crimson and this is just a little bit lighter of a shade of red and I'm going to use very little because we're just going to do a little bit of dry brushing okay, so as you can see I'm just pouncing off the extra um, paint off of my brush and then I'm just going across very lightly just adding a little bit of contrast and color Alright, now that I have dry brushed on my crimson and it didn't film, I brushed a little bit of the rhubarb color on there. Um, wasn't, not real crazy about the rhubarb color, but I don't think we're going to really see it when we're done. Um, I'm going to now use some cashew. And again, just a little bit. I'm just going to put a drop. All I'm going to need. And again, we're going to use a very light hand and dry brush that on there as well. And I don't mind it mixing with a little bit of the red that's on my brush. All right, there we go. And now that I have that on, the rhubarb that is showing through isn't bad at all. So we have our dry brushing done on our ornament. Okay, now I'm just going to take my ruler, and I know you've seen me do this before. I'm just going to first line this right up here at the very top of the ornament where it comes together. Just, and I'm actually like it up here where this is a straight line because I want to be sure I have my straight lines running across. And I'm going to use a brown uh, Sharpie versus a black. I don't want the lines to be quite so dark. And I'm just going to draw straight lines across to imitate the look of um, boards. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to go over that um, with a smaller brush. Sorry about the dog. He's been on one all day. He's been barking at everything. Okay, I'm going to take a very wet brush and pull out a little, actually, on my, my plate here before I wet it. There we go. And now it's it's really wet down and I'm just going to go lightly over these marks. Okay, and then I'm just going to wipe them off, wipe them down after they've set for a minute. And what we're doing here is we're just giving the illusion of a little bit of depth to these lines so that they don't really look like they've been drawn on.
in. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks much more natural now, like it's got a little bit of shadow going down into that darker line, and that's the look we were going for. It actually makes it look like the the boards are actually put together and it's not just a line. Now here I've printed off in my vinyl. It says, baby, it's cold outside. It's definitely getting that way up north here, and it's one of my favorite Christmas songs. So I decided to use this for my saying on my ornament. And I print, I cut it on my Silhouette Cameo. So I'm just going to start weeding this and pulling off the extra vinyl. And there we go. Baby, it's cold outside. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a transfer sheet and we're going to lay that over it so I can move this over onto the ornament. All right, now I have my transfer sheet here and I'm sure you've seen me use these before if you've been watching my videos for a while. If you're new, what this is is it's just a piece of tacky vinyl and it's clear. So what you do is you just lay it down over what you've cut out that you want to transfer. And then you just be sure you get that just adhered down really well on top of the, the wording or the picture that you're wanting to transfer. Right, and the way I find easiest to remove the backing of the wording is just turning it over and just pulling it off at a sharp angle. All right, and now what we do is we just find where we want this to lay down on our piece. And I'm just going to place it right about there looks like it's about centered and we are just going to again make sure that that has a nice firm grasp onto our piece and then we're just going to carefully peel back our transfer sheet Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to replace this back onto the paper that we took it off of because this is still sticky. We can keep using this over and over again. And then just taking the backing that the vinyl came off of, I'm just going to use this and just burnish this down really well onto our ornament so that the vinyl sticks. And the reason I use this and I use the sticky side is because it, the vinyl will not come off and stick to this piece. So there we go. That's on there really well. I'm loving that because baby it is getting cold outside. And then this piece of course we can throw away. Now for our next step, we are going to take our uh, metal piece that we had taken off and we are going to glue this back onto the top of it. And for this I'm just going to use some hot glue. And we're just going to get this centered right back on there. and just hold that down.
Now you want to be careful if you're using a high temp hot glue because this is metal, it will transfer the heat. Now to embellish this, I just pulled out some of these Dollar Tree snowflakes and I'm just going to lay these over along the side here. And I had a, found a couple of these little silver twigs and I'm not sure where they came from. They just kind of jumped out at me actually while I was looking for something to to embellish this with and I, I think they had the right idea. So we are just going to lay these on here. Just kind of decide how I want them laid out. All right, and I'm thinking something like this. And I do want to do something with the bottom of these. They just don't look finished. So give me just a minute and we will go ahead and finish the bottom of these first. Now, in order to tie these together at the bottom, I found this beautiful sparkly white ribbon and some thinner metallic silver ribbon. So I'm going to use these to make a bow. this off at the back here. All right, now before I do anything else with this, I'm going to go back in with my scissors and I'm just going to cut little V notches into each side of my ribbon in the center. Not going all the way across, but we want to get just a little bit of the ability to move this ribbon since it is a stiffer ribbon. Now, again, I'm just going to come in with the silver ribbon. We're just going to tie this off. This is very, it's, I'm not sure where I even got this. It's, it's a stiff ribbon. It's wired. So as thin as it is being a wired ribbon, this is great. Then I'm just going to start pulling these out and apart. All right, then I'm just going to take a little more of this and make, make some tails coming down here on the bottom. I think that's what I'm going to do. And again, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to these. And guys, as you can tell, I'm not a professional bow maker. I'm just trying to make it so it looks good on the front in the end. We're just going to hot glue these to our ornament. And then I'm just going to work the um, pieces of the bow so that they stand up and they're poofy. All right, now we're just going to go back in and add our little snowflakes. And again, I'm just going to go onto the bottom, add a dab of hot glue in the center point. And then lastly, we're just going to go ahead and add a little embellishment to the center of each of our snowflakes. And just to add a little bit more sparkle to my snowflakes, I'm going to take one of these clear flat-backed rhinestones and add it to the center of each of the snowflakes. All 
Okay, and there we go. There is our finished ornament wall decor. I absolutely love it. I love the silvers, the whites, and the reds together. I think it came out perfectly. So let's go ahead and get this hung up. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button as well as share it with friends who may also enjoy it. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button and when the notification bell pops up, be sure you hit that as well so you never miss a video. And, as always, have a great day and stay crafty!